Yeah, so this year's carbon budget, we saw emissions grow at a quite low, 0.6%. It's still growing, but it's sort of in line with the last uh, decade of trends, about 0.9% per year. Uh, slower than last year and the year before, but still growth. Uh, there's a few interesting things uh, in those results. Coal use went down about 0.9%, um, but that was offset by rapid growth in oil and gas. And gas, I think, is quite an interesting story. In the last uh, seven or eight years, actually since 2012, when coal may have peaked, gas has dominated emissions growth. It's responsible for about 50% of the growth in emissions. Uh, drilling down to the country level, uh, China had emissions growing 2.7% or so, which is uh, more or less the same as the last few years. A bit of a tussle going on in China between uh, declining GDP growth and the government trying to uh, boost the economy with infrastructure. India was a big surprise this year. It's been growing about 5% per year in the last decade, and this has dropped to 1.5% or so. Um, that's maybe not a permanent uh, long-term feature, just a, a one-off. There was a very big monsoon which affected uh, coal production, coal use, and also a lot of hydropower. So we'll have to see how things play out in the next few years. The US and the EU both went down 1.7%, and both because coal went down 10%, completely coincidental. Uh, the EU ETS, the emissions trading system in Europe, had a higher carbon price, and so electricity, or Electricity consumption from coal went down quite a lot, maybe 20%. That was offset a little bit by industry, steel and, and so on. Uh, US is the continuation of the coal to oil and oil and gas. So overall, you know, it's not completely bad news. It's not 2% growth, uh, but 0.6% growth is a very long way from um, peaking emissions and getting emissions declined. So we've got a lot more to do.